I tried so hard even to pay my school fees. But it failed. But God knew it. That Joseph, I need you. And he gave me a spiritual father. He gave me a man of God. And we got connected. What I am right today, I didn't know that I would be it. But because I kept the standard, I held on to him for many years. The blood of God manifested itself upon me. Many people, God has added many people upon your lives. Those you studied it so well, and they respected you as well, and you loved them as well, and you're shaking yourself for them. But because of familiarity, you have uh, lost those friends. We are from different nations right now. I'm from Uganda. They are from the people from this country. They are people from other countries as well. Africa. It's because of the plan of God. He has brought us and added us together. There is something I help you with. And you also help me with something as well. If we keep our connection, we shall leave this from which we are, and then we shall also go forward together. Each step that God takes you to, you will not open any other way without recognizing the things He has given you. Uh, have you kept them well? Families are broken up. Relationships have died out. But they said it as well. I met my wife. I saw something in her. I, she also saw something in me. And then we asked God about it and he added us together. As we were getting married, I told him, I told her one thing. I am a minister of God. I have many people. If you come to me, you're supposed to love people as well. It's a must you're supposed to serve God. Then we, uh, we get connected. I told her one thing as well. Whenever we walk together, don't familiar me. I too will not familiar you. Don't familiar God. And I will not familiar him as well. Let's walk together as we go. So that he can get us from one level and take us to another level. So you who is listening to me, brethren, this is the plan of God because you're here. People may not understand you, but God understands you. Your family may abandon you, but God knows you and you. Your family may not see you, but God sees something in you. That that is in you. Whatever step you're going to, Keep the standard. Amen. Amen. If you're a wife, don't, get, don't familiar your husband. Be in your position as a wife. And your husband may be in his position as a husband. Your husband, may be his as a husband. And if your husband, don't familiar your wife. See her as now your wife. And be in your position as a husband. If you are a judge, keep your, the standard of your job so that it can help you to, to be uh, respected before your bosses. Most of the time, whenever we have this familiarity in us, we begin having bad habits within us. Bad habits have come in our lives. And a bad character comes out as well. Not respecting other people. Not respecting other people. Complaining about our lives. Gossiping about others. Hypocrisy. All those things come because we have not kept up the standard. When I saw uh, mommy and I saw daddy 
I didn't just come from Uganda to meet them. Catherine, those who pray from here. When we kept our standard, though I, I, I married their sister, but I also keep something in my life. They have connected me as a chain to come to, to this church. And when I've come to this church, I've told Tosobola Kuja Uganda. When I came here last week. I told mommy, when you come to Uganda, you cannot just get on the plane and come to Uganda without coming to our ministry. Amen. And the day they will be coming, I'll put them on YouTube and they will see them all. Why am I bringing this testimony? If you who have them don't understand them, I love that that is in them that is godly. If you people who are with them, you don't understand it. The church is not people. God doesn't need people. He needs a person. God doesn't consider the congregation. He considers a person at a time. So the good thoughts that God has for us, He asks them concerning a person. And he connects the Holy Spirit. Each step that God takes you. So that he can put a testimony in your life as well. Things that have been given birth to in our hearts. Complaining. Quarreling. Anger. Some of us are ministers. You serve God in complaining. Some of us are married. You're quarreling in your marriage. Some of us had families. Family. You're complaining concerning your family. Some of you are at your jobs. You just go anyhow. As I conclude, I pray for you one thing. God may take you back to his image. Maybe you didn't understand it. Let me tell you like this. I pray for you one thing. God may take you back into his image in which he created you. There is the old Joseph but now there is the new Joseph that has come. Let God take you back to your original. To each step that God takes you you to each step that God takes you so that you can, you can keep the standard of that state so that God can open doors in your life. There are doors God is going to open for you. I conclude as I pray for you. I pray for you like this. What I'm hearing in my spirit is this. The standard on which you are right now. You're going to leave it and go to another level. Your finances are going to increase. God is going to bring you new friends. God is going to uh, heal you of your sicknesses. God is going to remove you from this level and take you to another level. I hear it in my spirit. God who has taken you this far, you didn't have anything. He's going to just take you far. God who has given you money, you didn't have it. He's going to give you even more. God who has given you that job. You didn't even have it before. He's going to give you a greater job. Even you who is here in this place. If you don't have a job. God who take you from different countries. And brought you here. He's going to open up jobs for you. I pray for you for the hand of the Lord. I pray for you for the grace of God. I pray for the goodness of God. 
God uplift this ministry Deliver your people Give them a blessing Give the pastor a blessing Give his wife a blessing Give their children a blessing Give the ministers a blessing Lift them high up They may walk nations They may be seen on TV They may be heard on crusades They may call them in different places They will go to America I've seen you when you are taking me to different countries Bless these people as well Bless the children Bless their husbands as well Bless their wives as well Those who are not married Let them get married They may get married They may get married They may give birth In Jesus' name Thank you Lord God bless you all in Jesus' name